So Megan the Stallion is speaking out for the first and last time since her assault trial against Tory Lanez. In an essay published to Elle magazine, the rapper talked about how the situation put her in a depression and how some people doubted her story. But she said she's learning how to cope and heal from that situation. In the essay, she says, in part, this is a rebirth of a happier and healthier me. I'm a survivor and I, and I have and will continue to embrace the highs and lows of my journey. I'm excited to get back into music because I have been so transformed. And obviously, this is a long article, so you can go read it at L.com. But did you guys take time to read it? And I just read the like, whole thing. It was absolutely it like hit me. Yeah, I read it, was, the whole thing. it was really good. It's just mm -hmm. I'm very proud of her for speaking mm -hmm. out in the way that she did. And I, I, I salute you, Megan. You're awesome. And yes. it was, especially for being able to speak out after like the last time you spoke out, you were ridiculed for it and cr criticized by like the masses, by your own people. Like black people were like, mm, she's lying. Yeah. Whatever. So for her to come back and be like, you know what? I'm going to share my story. I'm not going to let you silence me. I live for that. Yeah, yeah. Even her peers, like Drake had that line in one of his songs where he like criticized um, or, or said that she was lying. Yeah. Why like is he those... being messy? Like, why is he getting, <laughs> why is he being messy? Well, you know what they say about him in the streets, but um, <laughs> just those things. I think yeah. when a black, a woman, especially a black woman, um, states something that she's been through, like, like this assault, mm -hmm. I, I think she should be believed. That should be like our first instinct is to believe a woman's version of what has happened. Mm -hmm. And for her not to have been believed initially was like very disheartening to see. It's very or, disappointing, uh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, just to see that as a woman, like how are you encouraged to come out if you might be made fun of or, or not believed? I just... Or like, even if you just don't believe them, even if you yeah. want to speculate or like be cautious, like at least reasonable doubt. Like they said, yeah. uh, innocent until proven guilty. Like at least wait until the seat, like with the what happens like with the trial. But I, I think that also goes to show when she originally didn't want to speak out mm -hmm. was in 2020 mm -hmm. when there was like that, um, that, ten that racial tension that was happening. Everybody remember 2020 and that racial mm -hmm. tension. And knowing that she was going to be in the situation with police and having a black man there and right. also all her friends were black in that situation. So I, I un understand why initially she didn't come out and say actually what had happened. She was trying to be protective, not only herself, but like the people that she was with, mm -hmm. even yeah. though they had harmed her. But I, you know, I think that says a lot about society that they right. failed black people. That yeah. is scary. Because people should understand, I mean, people should have understood that, like especially when it happened. When right. She said, hey, Yes, I didn't tell the whole truth when it first happened right. because, you know, police, especially there was so much social unrest. So for her to say, like, yeah, I didn't want to say gun, I didn't want to say he did anything, right. like, I may have been mad at him in the moment, but she didn't, that didn't mean that like, she wanted him to die. She was trying to help him out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for her to be dragged for that, I was like, she I think that was the catalyst for people to call her a liar and to yeah. mock her over the, like, this past year and a half, two years that it's been. Yeah, I hated seeing that, that they were like, you know, almost calling her like different names and making her like deserving of what happened to right. her. It, yeah. It's just, it's not okay to do that. I just, you know, I'm glad she spoke out about it. She's and, gonna be you know, much stronger after she, this. I love her. Coming yeah. back be better than ever. <laughs> love her. <laughs>